they're drilling into the cause of an earthquake. That's really cool unless it triggers an earthquake because they're actually drilling into a subduction zone through the plates of a boundary in an active subduction zone. This is the Nantrozine project drilling through plate boundary in an active subduction zone. This is on What's Up With That by David Middleton from Real Clear Science by Adam Mann. These seven expeditions could reveal some of Earth's biggest secrets in 2019. Past year brought tons of fascinating information about our planet, but as scientists gaze into their crystal balls, they can see that this year, 2019, is also sure to contain exciting surprises, and here we take a look at seven of the most highly anticipated geophysics and earth science expeditions. These are missions and meetings that will take place in 2019. First is inspecting Thwaites Glacier for cracks, creating amazing new ice maps, drilling into the cause of an earthquake, that's what we're talking about here, off the southwest coast of Japan. We're talking about the very active ring of fire. We see a lot of earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, even the hot spot of Kilauea. So yeah, they're going to be uh, drilling into the hot spot, the ring of fire. Deep below the Pacific Ocean, they say, sits the Nankai Trough, an active subduction zone where one plate of the Earth's crust is slipping beneath another. It's one of the most seismically active plates on, places on the planet and is responsible for the 8.1 magnitude Tonankai earthquake that rocked Japan in 1944. This year, the Nankai Trough Seismologic Zone Experiment, Seismogenic Zone Experiment, this is called Nantrozine for short, it began drilling into the fault. It's the first expedition to drill, sample, and instrument the earthquake-causing or seismogenic portion of Earth's crust, where violent, large-scale earthquakes have occurred repeatedly throughout history. According to the mission's website, rocks collected next year will be analyzed, this means this year, 2019, will be analyzed to see how slippery or solid they are allowing researchers to understand more about the conditions that might lead to an earthquake on these types of faults. This was written by team member John Bedford of the University of Liverpool on the expedition's blog. Measuring the forest and the trees is another thing they'll be doing, exploring in a buried Antarctic lake, learning the history of coral reefs, and exploring the deep biosphere. Now, does anyone really care about cracks in the Thwaites Glacier or new ice maps and pictures of trees taken from the International Space Station? Didn't Landsat already do this sort of thing? Coral reefs are cool, but we already know their history. Maybe the history we know is not alarmist enough. Now, drilling into a subglacial lake is cool unless they find the thing. Deep biosphere, who cares? If you've seen one biosphere, you've seen them all, and the deep biosphere is only a small piece of deep carbon 2019, which is more of a convention than it is an expedition. Now the big thing is this, drilling into the cause of an earthquake. That's really cool unless it triggers an earthquake. Technically, the plan is to drill through the plate, through the plate boundary in the Nankai Trough Subduction Zone, a fault system associated with massive earthquakes and their tsunamis. And as opposed to volcano tsunami, this is earthquake tsunami. The Nankai Trough Seismogenic Zone Experiment Drilling Expeditions have reached the final phase this October, meaning October 2018. About 11 years have passed since the first IODP, that's International Ocean Discovery Program, operation by DV Chikyu, Chikyu Cruise in September 2007. So far, DV Chikyu has completed 15 expeditions, 68 holes, and drilled a total length of more than 34 kilometers. IODP site C0002 has been attempted three times before. In steps finally reached 
3,000 meters below sea level during 348, uh, uh, what is that? Anyway, expeditions. The, the objectives of IODP Expedition 358 are to penetrate towards 5,300 meter depth to cross the high amplitude seismic reflector where the main plate boundary fault is believed to exist. I'm crossing the real-time MLWD, that's measurement logging while drilling, and WL, that's wireline operation. Monitor mud gas and cuttings and limited core sampling of the ultra-deep fault zone. These operations are extremely difficult tasks never before achieved during the fragile geological formation compromising the accretionary prism and factors including the powerful Kuroshio current location subject to typhoon approaches and also affected by the passage of multiple cold fronts during the winter months. This expedition is the accumulation of over 20 years of planning and 11 years of IODP nantrozine drilling efforts to reach the plate interface fault system at seismogenic slow slip depths. This is by Jam S Tech, and it's on What's Up With That, and I'll leave a link below for you, but you could also see the, the drill site map, the main centerpiece of the Nantrozine project, the drilling targets for um, Expeditions 358 between the Euro Eurasian plate and the Pacific plate. But that's the seismogenic zone, the subduction Philippine sea plate. Going under the Eurasian plate is the, uh, the Philippine sea plate. Now the plan is to re-enter the TNA temporary abandoned C0002F well born and drilled to a depth of 5,200 meters where they expect to encounter the boundary between the Eurasian plate and the subducting Philippine sea plate. They will be running LWD, that's logging while drilling tools, to measure formation resistivity and natural gamma ray responses, just like we do in the real world, run wireline logs and core intervals above and in the plate boundary zone. Good luck to them, more power to them. CDEX plans to implement IODP Expedition 358, Nantrazine Plate Boundary Deep Riser 4, beginning on October 7, 2018, which means they've already begun. The main expedition goal is to deepen riser hole from 3,000 meters below sea level to the primary megathrust fault target at 5,200 meters below sea using logging while drilling, drilling LWD, downhole measurements, and drill cuttings analysis extensively in addition to limited coring intervals. This expedition will be the accumulation of 10 years nantrozine deep drilling efforts to reach the plate interface fault system at seismogenetic slow slip depths. A nanti, the Nantai trough is known as the tsunami factory and was the subject of a very detailed 3D seismic survey published in 2007. And you can have, you can see various cross sections of these uh, seismic data volumes depicting location of the mega thrust fault, its relationship to older in sequence thrusts of the frontal accretion prism, uh, steep seafloor topography, numerous lumps above the splay fault shown. Who would have ever guess that geology and geophysics can be fun and useful even when not applying to oil and gas exploration and production? If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.